brawls. Well, if you want to call them brawls, that happened in 2020. So we're going to start with the worst one all the way to the best one, starting from number five and going all the way to number one. Here we go. Two strikes, bases loaded, one out, bottom of the fifth, the pitch. A swing and a line drive foul, and that hit the bat hit Molina. And Molina is hurt. It's catcher's interference, a run scores, and Yachty is favoring his left wrist. And that will go as an E2 on the catcher's interference. Another run comes in, and it's 13-2 Milwaukee. Yachty is such a tough player, and we just walked away from home plate. It just did not have a, a good feel to it, and Adam Olson's out there kind of checking on him right now. He's just trying to let the initial pain subside. But the swing caught the left wrist of Yadier Molina and knocked his glove off. And so that is, as you mentioned, an error on the catcher. Braun gets first base. Yadi reached out just a little bit too much. And Braun on that big swing. Now there's now, a little to-do going on. Now both benches are empty. And Braun is, has really upset Yadier Molina. And Jed Jerko's in there trying to be a peacemaker as the players huddle, and there will be some ejections and fines out of this. As the Cardinals and Brewers huddle over near the Brewer dugout, now the bullpen's empty. The Mike. Cardinal bullpen pitchers just now get into the mix. I'm not sure what was said to precipitate that. Yachty's still getting attention from Adam Olsen. I mean, that, that's, the, that's the most important thing right now from the Cardinals' point of view long-term, that Yachty's okay. And really, both teams are just huddled in front of the... Number four is one that I think surprised a lot of people, mostly because Francisco Lindor and, yeah, Sergio Romo, those aren't two guys you would think would go at it. But here we are. Francisco Lindor, swing and a high fly to shallow left. Rosario now drifting to medium deep left, makes the catch. And now Lindor and Romo going at each other and being separated by the two team's teammates. This went back to the last series in Cleveland. Romo loves to chirp. And the difference is Francisco Lindor is... Here's Lindor and watch what happens after he leaves the box. He smiled after him after he, he knew he missed that pitch and then I think Romo got irritated because he was almost mocking him yeah. as he was going down the line. And so no. <laughs> now when Chapman threw over Brasso, which is this next one, that got me really upset. He threw right over his head and that could have ended his career. Watch this. Here's Brasso pinch hitting for Susugo. Oh, over his head. Got there, 101 up around the head, and uh, Brasso can't be very pleased with that. Well, uh, you know, again, look, look, look. I mean, it becomes a matter of survival at some point. You want the guys in that raised dugout to, to answer this garbage. Two balls, two strikes, two outs in the ninth. Swing and a miss, and that will do it. Chapman does the stare. Brasso looks out there as well, and that's going to go into everybody's memory banks as the Yankees. Break a six game losing streak against the Rays with a 5 3 victory. And now they have some things to say to the Yankee dugout. And now the Yankees are moving toward the Rays, and this is not supposed to happen with the social distancing rules that are in place. There's going to be some chirping from both sides. Yeah, you know that. And you can't blame them. And the umpires are trying to restore order. Both bullpens jogging in. And you can't blame them. Now. Not because of ego, but because you're endangering people. We don't know what was in Chapman's mind when he did that, but um, the Rays are going to assume what was in his mind. Yeah, we saw. I mean, you can draw your own uh, conclusions on what you saw at home, but certainly it was a very scary. Now, this next one is one of my favorites within the last few years as a whole. When Ramon Laureano just wanted to fight the entire Houston Astros team. Mariano gets hit again. That's the second time. Now he's pointing at Cassianos. It looked like a breaking ball. Yeah. So. It's 
So everybody kind of standing around. See Loriano just kind of talking about. You know, it looks like I can, looks like I can feel him releasing the ball in a fashion. Now we've look out, folks. This is not a good idea. This is not a good idea. Loriano sprinted toward the dugout, and this is not good, folks. This is exactly what Major League Baseball said you absolutely yeah. cannot do. He's maybe without a player for a while. Yeah. And number one, I shouldn't have to explain myself to you. The man, the myth, the legend. I present you Joe Mother Flippin' Kelly. Home 3 0. Oof. Just get away from him. Yeah, I think that one slipped. Two tonight. Look out. That was a off speed pitch that spills him. Gray now looking out there. Second comes. That's just what he did. And he got a swing and a miss from Correa to get out of the inning. Oh, Joe. Joe Kelly strutting his way off after an interesting inning. All right, so the benches have cleared. And we'll. Do our best to maintain social distancing while still sending a message both sides. I kind of just want to sit here and listen since you can hear just about everything. What was your favorite benches clearing brawl out of these five? My personal favorite was, the, of course, the Joe Kelly one, and I love the Ramon Laureano one. Those are my two top, maybe favorites of all time, if anything. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.